When you go searching for yourself, are you ever afraid of what you might find? I mean, think about it. Who or what is it that you're even looking for? It's Girl in Space. going to be here. Sorry, it's really hard for me to say that, but it's true. I'm not always going to be here to read you bedtime stories, or help you plant carrots, or bandage your sprained ankles, or keep your hands away from the gene splicing equipment. Someday, little bird, your mother and I are going to be gone, and it's just going to be you out here, alone. And when that happens, I need you to do something very important for me, okay? I need you to go to the embryo storage tanks in the glass house and destroy the embryo marked SD-538, okay? SD-538. Just, just take it out of the vial and let it expire. Or let it go floating out of the airlock, just like we did with those beetle hybrids that didn't work out. I know, it sounds scary and wrong, but sometimes doing the right thing, the necessary thing, is difficult. Unbelievably difficult. But you can do it. I know you can. Because you are strong and good, and you can do difficult things. You can do the things I can't. Okay, tell me you heard it that time. I definitely heard it that time. Oh crap, I totally forgot. Frost, we need to get to the others now. No, you are injured. Stay here, I'll check it out. Uh, (laughs) no way. Remember how I'm done blindly following orders? Not all orders are inherently bad, X. Especially when they're issued with your safety in mind. Don't care. I am not letting you go alone. And... I'm not letting you leave me here alone. We are officially initiating buddy system protocol. And don't even think about threatening to stun me, especially now that we know what stun blasts do to you. Fine, but stay behind me. Mm, Sorry. Buddy system protocol has us going in side by side. The tactical strategy behind this so-called buddy system protocol is dubious. Sorry. The protocol's in place and there's nothing we can do about it now. Huh. Okay, uh, well, I guess it wasn't Chen screaming. Weird. It's nice that for once he's not getting shot, maimed, mauled, or otherwise massively injured. Yeah. May I assist the two of you? (laughs) Not likely. Just ignore her, Kai. She's going to- I will (sighs) accompany you. No, that's okay. You stay here and protect Chen and Danny while they sleep. Sleep. Fragile human bodies need rest to recharge. Yes, they need you here. However, 
You are injured and much more. Soft, soft, soft. Hey, 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 soft, hey, hey, hey. Soft. Curvy. I'm curvy, okay? Not soft. And your robotic companion is susceptible to electromagnetic disruption. Easily neutralized. Hey. I will accompany you. I am not a robot. And I am not so easily neutralized. Yeah, not really charming your way onto the home team, Char. Just stay here and protect Danny and Chen, okay? Please? N no. And my name is Charlotte. Not Char. Jeez, okay. What happened to your whole selective hearing bit? Oral receptors. Melf, 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 malfunctioning. Ah, there it is. We should move. Right, yeah. Uh, Charlotte, you just... Whatever. Come on. Huh. Huh. Foundering. Insect. Neutralize. Dermal. Marzipan. Encephalitis. So, okay. Uh, if Danny and Chen are asleep in the glass house, and Frost is still lying here, sedated or unconscious or whatever... Then what? Oh. Oh. What? I think I know where it's coming from. This way. Uh, so where are we going? What an excellent question. Feel free to chime in any time, Charlotte. Do not judge us too harshly. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Hey, so, okay. Uh, remember earlier when Danny and Charlotte reported that the communications pod had completely broken away? I remember. Yeah, well, they also mentioned that some of the support beams near the second magnetically sealed pod had been bent and broken. Oh. What was, what was, or is, sealed up in there? <laughs> well, that's the thing. I don't know. I, I was never allowed to go into that part of the ship. Mom said it was storage for radioactive materials, like the kind that could actually hurt me, but I don't know. She sure went in there an awful lot. You needed to be kept safe. 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 You never found a way in? No. Uh, once those magnetic seals are engaged, well, you saw how long it took Thor to break through the one on my parents' pod, and she had a pneumatic drill. Wait, did you seriously think I'd be able to get in there? Think of it as a testament to your stubbornness. Huh? thanks. All right, it's just around the- Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh. Do not judge us too hard. Yeah, I know. This is... <coughs> A lot of smoke. <clears throat> I'm just gonna... Watch your head. Actually, watch your everything. Those edges look sharp. Whoa, wait. You're not going to try to stop me from crawling in there? Acts of futility are just so futile. Yay! Are you coming with me? Yes. Buddy system protocol is in effect after all. I will stay here. <laughs> Whatever you need to do, Charlotte. <clears throat> mm. Wow. Once we get this place checked out, we should start sealing it off. I think this pod's about to go the way of the communications pod. And that way is... away. Forever. Roger that. Well, at least we can be sure there wasn't a hull breach in here. Oh, wow. Uh, just a sec for posterity or whatever. <clears throat> okay, so, um, day 10 mark 321, hour... I don't know, super late. We, uh, Kai and I, just... Well, a hole got smashed through the interior wall of the second magnetically sealed pod, the port side one, and now we're in it. The pod, I mean, though maybe some other figurative stuff as well. Okay, uh, 
there's a lot of smoke and dust, but so far... Did you see this? See what? Ooh. And some kind of dripping orange goo? Not sure what that is. Hey, uh, want to take a sample and put it in this vial? Roger that. Thanks. But, uh... Overall, we are standing in a large open space about five or six times the size of the size of what used to be my cabin pod. Hey, Kai, could you shine your thank you? Uh, there are metal shelving units all over the walls and multiple crates and barrels that all have property of Caldwell Enterprises stamped on them, so I think it's safe to say this room was initially used for storage. Please note, that was a hypothesis, not an assumption. I'm over here diligently taking samples of orange mystery goo. I didn't say anything. Okay. I say this pod was initially used for storage because it appears to be serving another purpose now. All of the interior shelving racks have been pushed against a far wall, and in the center of the room is this apparatus. It's... Well, it looks like a terrarium, maybe? Made of glass or some sort of other sturdy, transparent material. About ten centimeters thick. But it's all broken apart now. Looks like one of the support beams got dislodged from the ceiling during the shipquake and smashed down on top of it. Along with, well, the rest of the ceiling. Gosh. This whole enclosure couldn't have been larger than three by four meters, though there's a, a a nest of tarps and blankets to one side and a grated drain in the floor and a large blue Caldwell Enterprises water recycler. There's a tangle of plants? <sighs> Looks like our good old resilient friend Kudzu uh, growing up around the water recycler, but other than that, it's... Kai, I think something was living in here. Like, something sizable. Hmm. Something still is. What? I'm picking up. There. What is it? I don't know. Stand back. Can you lift that without... Okay. I guess you can. Hey, what's that under... Oh my gosh. There's... I I think that's blood. There's blood everywhere. I'm going to lift this wall segment and shine my light underneath it. Would you be able to pull out anything that might be trapped under there? Uh, 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 depends if it's, you know, a gentle, harmless goat versus, like, a really angry, wounded velociraptor. Would you? Yeah. Or I'll try, at least. I mean, yeah. Ready? (sighs) Okay, go. Okay. Can you shine that just a little more over... Ah, yeah. That's good. Hmm. Let's see. Oh. Holy crap. What? He's alive. Uh, Help me. Oh my gosh. Hey. Hey, friend. It's all right. We've got you. You're gonna be okay. Hey, Kai... Can you... Oh, nice. Thank you. You totally read my mind. (sighs) Okay. Uh, We need to get the rest of this rubble off of him and make sure he's not bleeding out. His pulse is strong, at least. You can tell that from over there? Yes. Wait, is that impressive or creepy? Impressive. But we can table a more in-depth discussion on the topic for later. For now, I'll move this girder, and you see if you can extricate him. Right. Let's see. Let's get you out of the... Oh! Do not judge us. It's too hard. (laughs) All right. (coughs) Subject is free of the rubble. Well, the worst of it, at least. And has been relocated to a flat surface. (sighs) He's got some metal and glass shrapnel sticking out of his shoulder. 
uh, labored breathing. But, you know, hey, any breathing is good, right? <laughs> Looks like broken arm and wrist, possible broken nose, extensive contusions, probably a fair amount of internal damage. Uh, Kai? Ah, don't shine that light in my eyes. Sorry, what were you saying? Hmm. Here and here. Does that look like... The thought wear ports we saw on your mother's body? Yes. Yeah. Kai, he was here the whole time. Very likely, yes. No, I mean like the whole time. The whole time. Ever since... (laughs) This whole time, I thought I was alone. Did you? I can't see. Oh, gosh. Uh, That's because there's blood in your eyes. Here. Uh, Wait. No, don't sit up. I know you. You have lost a lot of blood, and you're... Gosh, you're really hurt. Um, Can you move your toes? Okay, good. I know you. I'm sorry, but I don't think so. No, you don't... You don't understand. You are me. You are we. X. We are part of the void. We are all that matter. We are everything. We are nothing. Look at his face. We are part of the void. Oh, we are all that matter. Weird. We are everything. Yeah, if nothing. if you ignore all the cuts and bruises, he part. kind of looks like a younger <laughs> version of my dad. No, he looks exactly like you. We are part of the void. We are all that matter. We are everything. We are nothing. We are part of the void. Uh, we are all that X? matter. We are, are you okay? We are nothing. We You've are been sitting the there staring void. at your audio recorder for everything. a we while now. I have three enticing samples of orange mystery goo, all ready for you to inspect. Hey, um, you're right. Of course, he's one of the embryos from the drawer. He's another one of me. That's not weird, right? It's not weird. Not weird. I mean, there's a thousand other things on the Cavatico weirder than this. You know, comparatively speaking, this is downright normal. I don't know. She must have, what, kept you aside as a second control group? Or were you some other experiment Dad and I never even knew about? None of us knows what the others are for. (laughs) Like the bodies under the maple tree weren't enough? Was this room, like, some kind of secret lab? What was she doing in here? What was she doing to you? What are all of those ports on your arms and neck for? Was she hooking you up to, to, to some kind of machinery? Do you have a malfunctioning hydraulic arm somewhere that floats around spouting creepy non-sequiturs and experimenting on people while they sleep? I am you. You are me. We are everything and nothing together. That's not helpful. X, he might not be in a state of mind to be helpful right now. I... No, you're right. Obviously. I... Uh, I'm sorry. It's, it's been a day, <laughs> which, you know, I'm sure you totally understand. Things can't have been easy for you here, huh? <laughs> Look, I'm X, and this is Kai. What's your name? I mean, do you know which one you are? Which specimen? Um, Cyrus. She used to call me Cyrus. Cyrus. What? Does that mean something to you? Not especially. Do not judge. I don't... Too harshly. She's here. Whoa. No, no, don't sit up. Here... Where is she? Who? Charlotte? I don't know. I... I never knew her name, but that voice... I'd know that voice anywhere. She did this. What exactly did she... Oh, jeez. Wait, no. You'd better not... Don't... Okay. I guess you're... Yep, nope, that's cool. Go ahead. 
Ignore my expert medical advice. Yeah, try to walk around. Hurt yourself more. That's totally cool. He really is another you. Do you want me to... What? Subdue him? Sedate him? Get him to see reason? Uh, there is no reason to see unless the blind can see the blind. Hex, do you want me to? Listen, Cyrus, you are super hurt. And we need you to calm down and hold still so we can help you. If you can't do that, we're going to have to sedate you, okay? Don't tell me to calm down. You don't get it. We need to move. Ugh. Stop telling me what I do and do not get. Charlotte is not going to hurt you or me or anyone. She's... She's dead, essentially, okay? What? But that was her voice. I heard her. She... Yeah, I, I don't even know how to explain this, but she sort of integrated her consciousness or personality or whatever with the onboard AI and now resides in a robotic arm thing. Don't ask me how, because I have no idea. It makes a little more sense if you're familiar with the concept of dissociation or UCT. Vaguely. Right. Anyway, she won't hurt you and she can't get you in here right now because her robotic arm thing is limited to the hydraulic tracks that run through the ship's corridors, and those tracks are totally destroyed over by where the ceiling caved in. Well, okay, technically she might try to weld you, but she can't do it from a distance of more than like two feet, so just don't get too close to her. So I'm free now? Like you? Yeah. Well, kind of. We can't really leave the Kavatica, and there's a delusional counselor out there who seems to think that he owns everything and everyone in sight, but, I mean, as far as you're not trapped in a giant terrarium for Charlotte's potentially nefarious experimental purposes, yeah, you're free. Finally. I don't even care if this is another dream or a program or whatever. I've spent my entire life in that cage. Lives. Hey, let's go destroy whatever's left of her. Of Charlotte. Look, dude, what did I literally just say? Charlotte, for all intents and purposes, is dead. And you are not only skin and bones, but massively injured, and- I don't care. I've been waiting for this moment my entire life. We both have, don't you see? Okay, I, I get that, but we need Charlotte to- Cyrus, you're going to hurt yourself even more. Typical. Grab him. What? Why? Hi. It was set for stun. Plus, he was going to hurt himself. <laughs> or you. Yeah, but you can't solve every problem with your gun. And now he is never going to trust us. Do you care about his trust? Yes, it'll make him easier to deal with. At the present moment, his health is more imperative than his trust. Anyway, no one really trusts anyone else upon first meeting them. Trust is earned slowly, over time. Huh, you think so? Did you trust us when our ship first approached the Kavatica? As I recall, I watched, evaluated, and reacted accordingly. Coolly and rationally. You most certainly did not trust us. You lied to us, hid from us, yelled at us, you were insubordinate to Captain Chen and the Counselor. <laughs> well, you smashed my face in and then captured, imprisoned, and interrogated me. What else was I supposed to do? Say, jolly good, please sir, may I have some more? <clears throat> uh... This is probably not the ideal time or place for this conversation. Uh, Want to help me get Cyrus patched up and then we can relive our incredibly awkward meeting circumstances? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. This is surreal. You don't need to apologize. Are you alright? Yeah, I just... <sighs> the whole time... I thought I was alone. I know. And I think Cyrus probably did too. Day 10 Mark 322, hour 1404. Okay, so I haven't really been in here since the Enforcer 1 folks took it over, but you know what? It's time to take it back. I'm standing in my cabin pod. Yes, 
my cabin pod, which Danny and Kai are currently helping me turn into a new infirmary. I figured, hey, Caldwell Enterprises crammed all of these bunks in here, and we stole a crap ton of medical supplies from the Enforcer 1, so we might as well make the most of them. Lift with your legs, not your back. I am. Some of us just aren't part forklift. Everyone made it through the night, which I'm grateful for. I mean, I didn't sleep, but everyone's alive, so yay. And, uh... I I maybe sort of fed Danny coffee until she agreed to help me round up all the escaped birds in the glass house. So she's a little cranky this morning, but that's done at least, so hooray! Hey, don't forget, you promised me dark roast later today. I won't forget. As for the humans, we got Cyrus bandaged up and onto some fluids, and... Well, despite all of those injuries and a diet consisting entirely of water and kudzu... He appears to be surprisingly resilient. Well, maybe that's not so surprising. He's different. Kind of like me, but not like me? We noticed something with his eyes. They're creepy. They're not creepy. He just has a few more pupils than the rest of us. And uh, he regained consciousness super fast after Kai stunned him, and we had to um, tie him to his gurney so he wouldn't go on a murdering rampage against Charlotte. That is probably another strike against us in the trust department, but I don't know what else to do. I tried asking Charlotte who he was and what she, or her previous self, had done to him, but all she's spouting is gibberish at this point. Malfunctioning. Malfunction. Malfunction. Malfunctioning. I hear her. Let me... Ugh. Let me go. This is worse than the cage. We can't because you are going to hurt yourself or someone else. You need to heal. And yes, I fully realize the irony of the situation, especially given that he looks unsettlingly like my dead father and, apparently, me. But at least I'm not tattooing his wrists against his will, so hopefully I'm not as bad as Caldwell Enterprises. We are part of the void. We are part of Yet. all matter. We are everything. We are nothing. We are part of the void. We are part of all matter. We are everything. We are nothing. We are part of the void. We are part of I all matter. We are everything. I haven't we are told nothing. him about the skulls under the tree. I don't think I will. Not sure how he'd react. Speaking of which... Hey, Danny, where are the items that we recovered from beneath the maple tree? Box under the table, to your right. But don't touch them because I'm still cataloging... I'm still cataloging the pieces. Ah, okay. There we go. Um, Chen is okay. Sleeping. I'm maybe a little worried about the arm we reattached. It's doing that whole inflamed, burning, oozing thing that's never a good sign, and he has a fever that won't go down. Still, his leg and his side are healing okay, and whenever he regains consciousness, he starts faintly wheezing orders at people, so I'm hopeful. I think that he, well, all of us really, just need a little bit of time to heal. Um, what else? The imp, the imp, the imp rises all up on me. She is splendor. She is grace. She is... Insects, marzipan, and so She is. She will be here soon. She will. She will. She will. She will. She will. That was a weird one. Weirder than her usual weird, I mean. Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to begin to parse what that meant. Cut something you want to share, Charlotte? Oral receptor. Yeah, got it. Anyway... To wrap up my update, turns out Assistant Frost only had a few cracked ribs, despite all of that talk of impending death. I wouldn't have figured them for the melodramatic type, but, you know, it's refreshing to know people can still surprise you. I think they still think I'm going to kill them for whatever reason, even though I am very clearly trying to help them heal. Earlier, I asked Chen to please tell them how not ruthless I am, but... Like Kai said about trust, maybe these things take time. I have no idea. Anyway, they're sedated again, which feels morally icky, but what are you going to do? 
And speaking of time, I feel like it's been a suspiciously slash unsettlingly long time since the counselor last checked in on us. Maybe he thinks his assistant took care of us in air quotes. Danny taught me about air quotes earlier today. But... What's that? What's going on? Escape pods at the ready. Escape pods at, 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 at. <laughs> Oh, man. What if that's him right now? The counselor. I mean, I was literally just talking about him. How crazy would that be? There used to be an old saying about speaking of the devil. What was it? Uh, speak of the devil. And then what? I don't actually know. People only ever said that part of it. Oh, that was anticlimactic. Is no one else concerned about the blaring alarm? Me? I am. Though I'm not sure my concerns matter much around here. Of course you matter, Cyrus. You're just on probation until you stop trying to murder Charlotte. And I don't know, Danny... You're on a dying research station in the proximity of a heavily armed corporate warship. You kind of get used to all the alarms after a while. But that doesn't mean... I know. Okay, I'm going to go talk to the counselor. Kai, can you stay here with Danny and keep an eye on things? Sorry, buddy system protocol is still in effect. I'm going with you. That's fair. Danny, are you comfortable keeping an eye on things by yourself? If Kai gives me a gun, I will be. Roger that. I suddenly feel very... powerful. No murdering. <sighs> yes, hello? Oh. Thor. Hey. How are things? Oh, can't complain. I've been really enjoying the fruits of the mutiny you started. So, thanks again for that. Yeah, you're welcome. So, did you need help with something? Or... (laughs) Well, to be honest, no. But my favorite hostage expressed a burning desire to get in touch with you, and I just can't say no to his creepy, wrinkled little weasel face. So I did him a favor and escorted him to the comms room for a little gab sesh. Say hi, Counselor. This is Counselor Van Gaal of the Enforcer One. Ow. Hello. Aw, come on. Remember we renamed the ship? (sighs) This is... Counselor Van Gaal of the Thor's Vengeance. Nice. <laughs> oh, I will never get tired of that. Hey, Kilbot. Hey. So, what exactly can I do for you, Counselor? To discuss the eminent approach of the Empress Conglomerate fleet. This Philistine refuses to parlay, so as much as it pains me, I figured I would talk to someone capable of seeing reason. Capable of seeing reason? Counselor, you flatter me. Also, does that mean you think I'm human now? No. Your base logical facilities do not negate the fact that you are a gross and unnatural scientific aberration. Hmm. Get to the point, Counselor. I have two requests. First, I would like to know the current status of Assistant Frost. Oh, Frost is fine. Currently sedated, but relatively unhurt. It's surprisingly human of you to care, Counselor. Assistant Frost is an extremely valuable human resource in whom Caldwell Enterprises has made a considerable investment. Ah, and there's the caustic, uncaring exterior we've all grown to love. What's your second request? I'm curious. I know now that it was ex-officer Thorson... Not you who sabotaged our mission to reclaim the Cavatica. 
As such, I assume that you do not know much about the corporation into whose fold you are entering. So allow me to warn you. The Empress Conglomerate is a barbaric and completely unscrupulous organization run by what can only be described as a cabal of criminals. Uh... <laughs> Remember that one time you held me captive and literally branded me as your property? That was super fun and definitely not barbaric or completely unscrupulous at all. Listen to me, you vile little monstrosity. You thought what we did to you was unpleasant? Just wait until you become the property of the Empress Conglomerate. You'll regret the day you slithered slug-like and squealing from your miserable tray of test tubes. <laughs> then it's a good thing I'm no one's property. <laughs> right, Thor? Oh, yeah. Our reclamation teams will probably make an exception for you once they meet you. Just a little paperwork, and you'll officially be a corporate citizen of the Empress Conglomerate. Lies. You're going straight from the frying pan into the fire. But it's not too late, Specimen X cooperate with Caldwell Enterprises, resist the siren song of the Empress Conglomerate, refuse to turn over the Cavatica, and we will... And that's enough for now. See ya, and remember what I told you. Huh. Hey, Kai? I don't know anything about the Empress Conglomerate, obviously, but was he right? Are they worse than Caldwell Enterprises? I mean, I'm not anyone's property, right? I can't tell you what you are and what you aren't, X. You're the only one who can do that. But I can tell you that there will always be someone out there who thinks they hold some kind of ownership over you, or that they're somehow entitled to you. But they don't, and they're not. Right. And same goes for you, okay? No matter what's stamped onto your chassis. They don't own me, and they don't own you. No one does. No one can. Not really. All right? All right, X. No, I'm serious. This is important. Say it. Say that no one owns you. X, this isn't the time. This isn't the time for what? Four. Important truths? There's Four. always time for important truths. Warning. No. Do you hear? Warning. Come on. Warning. Kai? Warning. Let me near her. Warning. I can make her stop. No, and stop Warning. asking. Ugh, what did you guys Warning. do? Just talked with the counselor. Warning. Why? A few minutes ago, Charlotte Warning. just started going crazy, and now I can't get her to... Warning. Oh, nice. Thank you, Charlotte. Escape pods at the ready. Escape pods at the ready. Weird. I don't know. Compared to some of the other stuff she's been saying, this is relatively normal. No, I mean, this is... Um... This is what? The same way she acted when... Anomaly. Gaining speed. Gaining when speed. What? What is going on? Crap. Hey! Where are you going? I can't see. Oh my gosh, what is that? I'm going to assume that this is the Empress Conglomerate. Yes. I'm surprised they got here so quickly. Uh, what's the Empress Conglomerate? One of Caldwell's biggest competitors. Hey, Charlotte, how far away is it? The new anomaly. Oral receptors. 24, 24, 24, 24. We have failed. Not especially helpful. Okay, things that are helpful. Right. Well, we're all consolidated this time into this pod and the Glasshouse pod, and maybe the Enforcer one, excuse me, the Thor's Vengeance, can help with- What? What's the Thor's Vengeance? No murdering. 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 Charlotte, what's- Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can't kill something that's already dead. Uh, Cyrus, what did you do? It's okay. We're all okay now. 
I fixed it, and now she can't hurt any of us ever again. Support for the Girl in Space podcast is made possible by listeners like you. You can help keep the show going, get sweet merch, and access bonus episodes for as little as $2 a month when you become a patron on Patreon. Visit patreon.com slash girlinspace, all one word, to check out exclusive rewards for patrons and make your pledge. That's patreon, p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash girlinspace. For credits and a full transcription of this and other episodes of Girl in Space, please visit girlinspacepodcast.com. If you're interested in creative writing, be sure to check out my other show, Right Now. That's right, like W-R-I-T-E, because puns. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening to the Girl in Space podcast. It means so much. <laughs>